Greetings everyone. Welcome back to India Business Insights. We are back with yet another informative and insightful video which helps you get ahead and keep you ahead in the world of business. You may have heard of the claims of Uttar Pradesh getting ahead of states like Tamil Nadu and becoming the second largest economy in the country and also becoming one of the fastest growing state economies. While these have been disputed by Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, we will know the final figures once definitive figures for FY24 are available. Notwithstanding these disputes, Uttar Pradesh under Yogi Adityanath as the Chief Minister has brought strong focus to economic growth and infrastructure development. We also occasionally see evidence of faster growth and it appears that UP is no longer a laggard and is in fact catching up with more developed states. In this video, we will delve into the rapidly growing economy of Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh has a very diverse economy which has significant contributions from agriculture, industry and services sector. The state has emerged as a GDP powerhouse and may have overtaken or is poised to soon overtake states like Tamil Nadu and Karnataka to become the second largest economy in India. We will start by providing an overview of Uttar Pradesh's economy, highlighting its key sectors and growth drivers. Agriculture remains the mainstay with crops like rice, wheat and sugarcane being the primary contributors. The state has also made strides in industrialization with textiles, sugar refining and manufacturing of heavy equipments, machinery and fertilizers playing crucial roles. Even at the time of independence, Uttar Pradesh has a well-developed industrial base, particularly in agro-based industries such as sugar refining, oil production and so. Even its agriculture is far more diversified than the wheat and paddy based agriculture of states like Punjab. The state also has iconic tourist sites like Agra, Varanasi and Bodh Gaya which continues to have largely unexploited Buddhist tourism potential from Japan and many other Asian countries. The video will also touch upon the state's efforts to promote tourism which is becoming an increasingly important economic driver. Uttar Pradesh is home to numerous historic and religious sites that attract visitors from around the world. Throughout the video, we will emphasize the crucial role of agriculture in Uttar Pradesh's economic growth. The introduction of high-yielding varieties of seeds, increased availability of fertilizers and improved irrigation facilities have transformed the state into a major producer of food grains. Uttar Pradesh has also benefited from its close proximity to the national capital New Delhi. Noida, which is now a part of NCR region, has multi-billion dollar factories from the likes of Samsung, has a flourishing IT sector and is an important hub of real estate development. This single district is a significant contributor of the state GSDP and state revenue. Join us as we explore the fantasizing journey of Uttar Pradesh's economy, its challenges and its future prospects. We are excited to share this insightful exploration with you and look forward to your engagement and feedback. Let's get started. Now let's discuss about the introduction of Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh, a state located in northern India, is a land of rich history, diverse culture and immense economic potential. As the most popular state in the country, Uttar Pradesh plays a crucial role in shaping India's socio-economic landscape. It covers an area of 2,43,290 square kilometers and is bordered by Nepal in the north, the Indian states of Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, Delhi, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. The state is home to a diverse population of over 200 million people, making it the most popular subnational entity in the world. It has a long and illustrious history with ancient cities like Varanasi, Ayodhya and Mathura serving as centers of learning, spirituality and culture. The state has been ruled by various dynasties including the Mauryas, Kushanas, Mughals and the British, each leaving an indelible mark on its heritage. Uttar Pradesh's economy is diverse with significant contributions from agriculture, industry and services sectors. The state is a leading producer of food grains, sugarcane and horticulture crops with wheat, rice and potatoes being the primary agricultural products. The industrial sector has seen significant growth in recent years, particularly in the IT, electronics and manufacturing industries. The state services sector, including tourism, has also been a major contributor to its economic growth. Despite its immense potential, Uttar Pradesh faces several challenges, including high population density, infrastructure deficiencies and regional disparities. However, the state also presents numerous opportunities for growth and development with its vast natural resources, skilled workforce and strategic location.
By addressing its challenges and capitalizing on its strengths, Uttar Pradesh can emerge as a leading economic powerhouse and contribute significantly to India's growth story. Now let's discuss about export import. The state's top export commodities included engineering goods, textiles and garments, precious stones and jewelry, food products and chemicals. Key export destinations were the United Arab Emirates, the United States, China, the United Kingdom and Germany. The state imported a range of products including crude oil, precious metals, electronic equipments, organic chemicals and machinery. The top import sources were Saudi Arabia, Iraq, the United States, China and South Korea. While some of the sectors may have experienced slowdowns, the state also had special ACZs for the promotion of exports of toys and garments and textiles. These are poised to become more productive as the global economy and demand start to improve. Overall, Uttar Pradesh maintained a healthy trade surplus of approximately $7 billion in 2024, underscoring the state's strong export capabilities across several industrial sectors. The state government has continued to focus on export promotion initiatives and infrastructure development to bolster the state's position as a major hub for domestic and international trade. Uttar Pradesh's merchandise exports reached 21.03 billion US dollars while imports stood at 21.03 billion US dollars in FY22. Top export import destinations. The top export destinations for Uttar Pradesh include the USA, Germany, the Netherlands, France and the UK. Product-wise exports. The state's exports include agricultural products like rice, wheat, maize, millets, gram, peas and lentils, as well as electronics, IT or ITES and other products. Product-wise imports. The state imports raw materials like seeds, fertilizers and pesticides for agriculture, as well as raw materials for electronics and IT or ITES industries. With the world's largest smartphone factory set up by Samsung in Noida, Uttar Pradesh has also emerged as a leading smartphone exporter. With many new factories coming up, thanks to Government of India schemes like Make in India and the PIL, we expect many new products will be produced in Uttar Pradesh for exports. Industrial areas coming up near the new airport coming in Jewar will also emerge as important export hubs in the near future. Large exports of food processing products are also happening from UP now. Now let's discuss about the GSDP. The state's GDP has been steadily growing over the years. In 2023-24, the GSDP of Uttar Pradesh is estimated to be Rs 24.39 lakh crores, US dollars 290 billion, with a growth rate of 5.8% over the previous year. The growth is driven primarily by the tertiary sector, which accounts for 47.3% of the state's GDP. The gross state domestic product GSDP of Uttar Pradesh for 2024-25 at current prices is projected to be Rs 24,99,076 crore, amounting to growth of 5.8% over 2023-24. The GDP per capita of Uttar Pradesh is Rs 1,05,000. US dollars 1300 making it the 28th highest in the country this indicates a significant improvement in the standard of living for the people of Uttar Pradesh Uttar Pradesh's GSDP has grown from rupees 16.45 lakh crore in 2021-22 to over rupees 22.58 lakh crore in 2022-23 a growth rate of 9.2% Uttar Pradesh has seen significant growth in various sectors, including agriculture, industry and services. The state has secured the top position in milk production and ranks third in egg production in 2023. Uttar Pradesh aims to enter the USD 1 trillion club by 2027 with a focus on enhancing planning and coordination across departments. Now let's discuss about infrastructure. The state has a robust industrial infrastructure including 15 industrial areas, 12 specialized parks, 4 growth centers and industrial infrastructure development centers IIDC. The Noida Greater Noida Yamuna Expressway Belt has been a preferred location for many IT or ITES and electronic manufacturing firms contributing about 40% to the manufacturing of mobiles in the country and 55% of their components. Uttar Pradesh is also a favoured tourist destination with domestic tourists available in the state standing at 317.91 million in 2022. Varanasi, Agra, Ayodhya, Mathura and Prayagraj were among the most visited cities. 
Despite its economic progress, Uttar Pradesh faces challenges such as infrastructure deficits, agricultural distress and the need for improvement in education and healthcare services. However, the state also presents numerous opportunities including investment potential, tourism growth and the expansion of renewable energy capacities. The government of Uttar Pradesh has implemented various initiatives to foster economic growth such as the industrial investment and employment promotion policy. the uttar pradesh defense corridor digital uttar pradesh and the skill development mission these efforts aim to attract investments generate employment boost industrial growth enhance digital infrastructure and improve skill development uttar pradesh has seen significant investments in tourism infrastructure with a focus on developing tourist destinations like ayodhya varanasi and agra Uttar Pradesh is actively participating in the Smart Cities mission with several cities undergoing transformational projects in areas such as urban transportation, sanitation and digital infrastructure. Now let's discuss about the primary industries contributing to Uttar Pradesh's economy. Agriculture, livestock and fishing. Major food grains produced in the state include rice, wheat, maize, millets, gram, peas and lentils. The state also has a significant livestock and fishing industry. Uttar Pradesh is India's largest producer of wheat, accounting for over 30% of the country's total wheat production. Sugarcane is another major crop, with Uttar Pradesh contributing around 35% of India's total sugarcane production. The state has the largest bovine, cow and buffalo population in the country, with over 35 million animals supporting a thriving dairy industry. Manufacturing The manufacturing sector contributes about 30% to Uttar Pradesh's economy in 2022-23. The state has a robust industrial infrastructure including 15 industrial areas, 12 specialized parks, 4 growth centers and industrial infrastructure development centers IIDC. Key manufacturing industries include textiles, sugar refining, cement and electronics. The state is a major hub for the production of engineering goods. with companies like Hindustan Motors, Tata Motors and Mahindra and Mahindra having significant presence. The textile and apparel industry in Uttar Pradesh employs over 2.5 million people with major centers in Kanpur, Noida and Ghaziabad. The state is also a leading producer of pharmaceuticals with companies like Cipla, Dr Reddy's and Ranbaxy having manufacturing facilities here. Services The services sector is the largest contributor to Uttar Pradesh's economy accounting for about 46% of the state's GDP in 2022-23. The services sector includes industries such as IT or ITES, tourism, real estate and financial services. Handloom and handicrafts. Uttar Pradesh has a thriving handloom and handicrafts industry with thousands of power looms and handlooms located primarily in eastern and western parts of the state. The state government has implemented the one district one product scheme to promote local handicrafts and specialized products from each district. Tourism. Uttar Pradesh is a major tourist destination with domestic tourist arrival in the state standing at 317.91 million in 2022. The state is home to several popular tourist attractions such as Taj Mahal, Varanasi and Ayodhya. Now let's discuss about tourism. Uttar Pradesh is a significant tourist destination in India with a rich cultural heritage and diverse attractions. The state has a strong tourism infrastructure with several circuits and destinations that cater to various interests. Here are some key statistics and data related to tourism in Uttar Pradesh. Footfall. Uttar Pradesh has a footfall of 238 million tourists annually, which is 14% of India's total tourist footfall. Domestic and foreign tourists. The state has the second highest domestic tourist footfall in India and the third highest foreign tourist footfall. Tourist attractions. Uttar Pradesh is known for its heritage and cultural tourism with popular attractions like the Taj Mahal, Varanasi and Ayodhya. Emerging destinations. The state is also emerging as a destination for wellness, MICE, adventure and ecotourism. Tourism policy. Uttar Pradesh has a new tourism policy aimed at increasing foreign tourist arrival, attracting investments worth INR 20,000 crore and creating 1 million additional jobs in the tourism and hospitality sector. Now let's discuss about the budget 2024-25. Here are the key highlights of the budget 2024-25 for Uttar Pradesh. Budget size 
The budget size for Uttar Pradesh in 2024-25 is rupees 76,000 crore, which is 1.47% higher than the revised estimates of rupees 74,900 crore for 2023-24. Sector-wise allocation. The budget has allocated 14.6% for its expenditure towards education, 6.2% towards health, 5.2% towards rural development, 6.7% towards energy, 3.1% towards agriculture and 5.9% towards roads and bridges. GSDP The gross state domestic product GSDP of Uttar Pradesh is estimated to grow at a rate of 10.5% in 2024-25. Revenue and capital expenditure. The revenue expenditure is estimated to be rupees 34 lakhs 53,132 crore, while the capital expenditure is estimated to be rupees 7 lakh 40,025 crore. Capital overlay. The capital overlay is estimated to be rupees 6 lakh 24,757 crore, which is 16.4% higher than the revised estimates of 2023 24. Loans and advances. The loans and advances are estimated to be Rs. 1,15,268 crore, which is 19.8% higher than the revised estimates of 2023-24. Revenue receipts. The revenue receipts are estimated to be Rs. 23,83,206 crore, which is 11.2% higher than the revised estimates of 2023-24. Capital receipts. The capital receipts are estimated to be Rs. 72,196 crore, which is 41.1% higher than the revised estimates of 2023-24. Revenue deficit. The revenue deficit is targeted at 2% of GDP, which is lower than the revised estimates of 2.8% in 2023-24. Fiscal deficit. The fiscal deficit is targeted at 5.1% of GDP, which is lower than the revised estimates of 5.8% of GDP in 2023-24. We notice from the above that the fiscal deficit is coming down as a percentage of GSDP. Also, the quality of spending is changing with increasingly higher spending being capital expenditure on infrastructure. This is likely to be a strong driver of future growth. Now, let's discuss about policies. Women and Child Welfare Rupees 4073 crore has been allocated for the welfare of widows and Rupees 5129 crore for providing nutritious food for women and children. Green Energy The government has signed an MOU with Hero Future Energies to invest in clean technology and renewable energy with a target to increase forest cover and tree cover by 15% by 2030. Power Subsidy Rs. 2,400 crore has been allocated to ensure an uninterrupted power supply to private tube wells or farmers. Agriculture Three new schemes will be launched to promote agriculture in Gram Panchayats with a total allocation of Rs. 460 crore. Housing Rs. 3,000 crore has been allocated for developing townships under the Chief Minister's Urban Expansion or New Cities Initiative. Uttar Pradesh Industrial Development and Employment Promotion Policy 2022. This policy aims to promote industrial growth and employment in the state by providing initiatives and subsidies to industries. It is beneficial for SMEs as it provides a supportive environment for their growth and development. Uttar Pradesh MSME Policy 2024. It is designed to promote the growth of MSME in the state by providing support in various areas such as credit, infrastructure and technology. It is beneficial for SMEs as it provides a comprehensive framework for their growth and development. Uttar Pradesh Data Center Policy 2021 This policy aims to promote the growth of data centers in the state by providing initiatives and subsidies. It is beneficial for SMEs as it provides a supportive environment for their growth and development, especially in the IT and ITES sectors. These policies are beneficial for SMEs in Uttar Pradesh as they provide a supportive environment for their growth and development and help them to overcome various challenges such as access to credit, infrastructure and technology. Now, let's discuss about Vision 2030. The Vision 2030 for Uttar Pradesh aims to achieve sustainable development and socio-economic progress for all individuals. The vision is to ensure that the benefits of economic development reach the poor and marginalized, including farmers, laborers, women and the differently abled. The state aims to achieve this through a goal-oriented approach, focusing on key areas such as education, healthcare, infrastructure and employment. The vision includes the following goals. No poverty. Ensure 100% coverage of households from the poor and marginalized communities. 
quality education provide quality education to all with a focus on minority students and madrasas food and accommodation assistance provide assistance to backward classes nomadic and semi nomadic tribes and transgender individuals poverty alleviation intensify poverty alleviation programs across various development departments and infrastructure development departments social inclusion promote social inclusion by providing opportunities for marginalized groups including sc or st or obc or minority the vision also emphasizes the importance of environmental sustainability sustainable cities and communities and the need to cover transgender individuals through skill development programs and increase their labor participation ratio While the vision may appear a touch ambitious in the last few years we have noted that the government are fully committed to economic growth early results are promising so we hope that these efforts are successful and up soon has a us dollar 1 trillion economy thank you for watching this video about the uttar pradesh government's vision for the state we hope you found it informative and inspiring the vision for uttar pradesh is a bold and ambitious one and we believe that with the right policies and initiatives the state can achieve great things thank you